Hello, and welcome to my Xbox and me, episode 344, 40, 40, just 40, there's four, there's no four. I am one of your hosts, MC Fixer, alongside the man who's decided to pull faces, Mr. Matt P Video, how are you? I'm very well, it's good to be back. I think we were all pulling faces, because I think you said... 340 something we're in episode like 440 something you haven't accidentally got 100 episodes back listener uh, can i be honest i'm really tired today i'm really I tired I, I, just finished, I just finished the eight hour stream you know, <laughs> like i'm really you, tired you know what it is fix was thinking back when's the last time matt was on the podcast oh yeah that was something yeah yeah i deserve that i deserve that, that was it that was it matt how are you i'm very well mate i'm very very well indeed how are you not bad, mate. Not bad. Uh, the one and only two fresh crash. Crash. I'm, still not, I'm not used to this haircut, mate. I'm still yeah. not used to it. I'm not used to it. I don't hate it, but I'm not used to it. I'll let you get used to it, and then I'll change it up again. Thanks for that. And the, and the one and only Mr. Paul Despawn, how are you? Uh, I've not got a haircut. I should probably get one at some point. A little festive mm. treat. I'm yeah, I need... That. I need a haircut as well. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Definitely, definitely coming through. Uh, if you didn't know, this is My Xbox and Me, our weekly Xbox podcast right here on YouTube.com slash My Xbox and Me and all podcast services. If you want to support the show, head over to Patreon.com slash MC Fixer. If you want to support the show without financial gain to us, uh, you can literally do us a favor and hit the review button on Apple Podcasts or on Spotify. I think they still do the reviews. I'm not sure. Uh, you'd have to check for me. I don't remember. Um, or... Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps us a lot. And we are less than 20 followers away from 100 over on the Twitch channel now. So, yeah, go and drop follows on all of those places. Uh, shout out to our Patreon producer, Aaron God. As per usual, we do appreciate you. Topic of the show, boys. <laughs> 2024 is upon us. It's very, very, very close. And I'm going to go out on the women and say... It's not going to be as good for games <laughs> as this year. <laughs> I'm going. I'm just going to go out there and say, it, yeah. I don't probably think because a... half of the video game industry is at the sack, so nobody's nobody's making games anymore. I mean, I mean, you've been a you bit pedantic. You've been a bit pedantic. Sure, 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 sure. Guys, look, I get it. The video game space is in a very weird place. I understand, but like jobs, this happens all the time in lots of industries. Sure. This happens a lot in, in the gaming industry. This isn't the first time we've had layoffs like that in the gaming industry either. Mm -hmm. No, very true. Very true. But I want to know, what do you think is going to be game of the year based off of what we know is coming out right now? If you had to pick, I don't know, one or two titles that you think will be at least in the conversation for game of the year, what would be on your money on today? You haven't played it. You've only seen maybe a screenshot. Maybe you've only seen a gameplay teaser. What would you say right this precise second is going to be up there for game of the year? We'll start with who's who's who, who's got something in their head. Despawn, you seem like you're despawn. Yeah, yeah go on, go on. I, th I think I've got one that is probably going to beat most of those. I think Hellblade Two is definitely going to be a game of the year contender. Hmm. Is that the, yeah, mm, yeah, we know that's yeah. definitely coming out next year. Yes, well, they finally yeah, well, they said put, it. Well, they put, they put a date, date, didn't they? Yeah, they, they put, put the yeah. 2024 date on it. Yeah. So, as of I mean, speaking, as of recording, it is coming out next you, year. <laughs> I'm with you, Crash. Yeah. What? Okay. what? Putting you know, a year we'll on see? it is not a date. We're not. We've gotten plenty of years in the past. But right now, yeah, I mean, but, yeah. no, but for as, the sake of this conversation, yeah, boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Because, like, <laughs> we can do that with every game we're going to mention. I'm yeah, going to say, I mean, yeah. Every, every, yeah, every you, game could be could be delayed. Like for the sake of this conversation, which yeah, I shouldn't have to course. say, you content creators, bloody hell. Um, hey, we were creating conversation. That's creating sure. content. No, sure, sure. If that's what you want to go with, mate, that's what were you want to go with. Sure, sure, sure. I'm with you. I don't think it's going to hit. You don't? I think oh. it's no. So gonna... I think I think it's going to be a very, 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 very good game. I think it's going to review in the eights and nines, but I don't think it's going to be this next catalytic was break game. Was the first Hellblade in that year's game of the year list? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No. I, th I think I, I want to look at the Metacritic now, but I I think it came out with like solid sevens, you know, because yeah. I think like. The conversation around it was like, this is setting up something really interesting. The sequel to this could be really phenomenal. Um, 
And so, like, I think, oh, so at 81, actually, currently on Metacritic. So that's higher than yeah. I would have thought it was. Um, but yeah, like, I think that was the conversation. And, and I came to it late and thought the exact same thing, right? Like, it does a lot of stuff really in a really great, unique way as in regards to audio specifically, but also story. Mm-hmm. Um, but the kind of core puzzle and combat mechanics feel really dated. Um, I think even when it came out, that was fair to say. And it was a small team, you know, and, and now it feels like it's become one of Xbox's tentpole things that they're pushing and want people to be anticipating. Um, and I, I hope for, it could be an Assassin's Creed 1 to 2 jump. Do you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. that's a huge jump. Will it? I hope so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Think, I don't think so. I think it's. I think it's going to hit with a very, very, very certain audience. I, I think it's going to be a very good game, and I think we're all going to enjoy it. But I don't think it's going to, in the end of the year, going to be there. What I will say, I think there is a possibility for it to be in like a BAFTA's game of the year conversation or something like that. I don't know about the VGA's game of the year. I base this uh, off of the VGAs. Just so yeah, no, 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 just, I understand. My, I understand. I'm just for my, yeah, for my for my when I'm speaking, I'm talking about it from a VGA perspective. I. Maybe I'm that's unfair. With you generally, but mm. I, I just to like give some sort of credence to like what Despawn's saying. I do think there's an avenue for it to win somewhere. I just don't yeah. think when most of the gaming industry or community talk about um, game of the year, I don't think it'll necessarily line up for that. I'd love to see it there, of course, but I'm not entirely sure it lines up for that. I just think if like I said, like we like Matt says, like the combat wasn't the greatest in the first Hellblade. Uh, it definitely felt like a bit of a secondary choice uh, or thought when they were building it. But like everything else around it was so well done. Uh, if they can nail the combat this time around and actually bring like some genuine innovation into what the previous game had, I, I think there's no chance that this could this doesn't get at least nominated. I think like. Alan Wake coming out this year and mm-hmm. being kind of a surreal, supernatural, doing weird things with story, doing weird things um, with like world building and stuff like that could help this. Like mm-hmm. people could talk about this in the same breath. All right, they're very different games. I get that. But like, you know, preparing people for that kind of story and that kind of surreal experience might really help. In a, and in a similar way, you know, Alan Wake 1 came out so far before Alan Wake and this doesn't have quite the same gap. Um, but you know, it could be could be talked about in the same breath. I think Alan Wake coming out this year has probably helped it. Um, yeah. Also, the original had that sort of conversation around it as well. From what I remember, when it had dropped, it did have that sort of like the the whole schizophrenic aspect with it. It had a lot of people talking from that. Um, so I do think having Alan Wake so close will definitely be a, a bump. But I do think people will be re- revisiting some of those conversations again mm-hmm. as well for the game. Anybody else got anything else they want to want to put out there? A different game. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I don't think it's difficult, right? I think it, maybe it sneaks its way into topic of com- uh, like game of the year conversation. But I'm personally really looking forward to Stalker Two, and I kind of keep forgetting that game exists. Yeah. And as a game that was supposed to come out, I think over a year ago at this point, but obviously war in Ukraine and mm-hmm. delays and delays and yeah, yeah. Hope the team are okay. Obviously, first and foremost. Um, yeah. But I think it's a, because of that is a game that people kind of forget about, and then it and then it comes back into the kind of consciousness. Um, and I and I'm I want a new first person shooter to be excited for and playing. Um, the conversation I didn't even try Call of Duty this year because the conversation around it was just so negative. Um, that I didn't I'm even not, give it a go. No, but... The single player, the single player is te- not very good, but the multiplayer and Warzone is fun as fuck. So sure sure and and maybe i need to jump back into that i'm thinking more Mm -hmm. of a single player first person shooter experience right like starfield which feels so dated like call of duty like you know none of these things hit for me in the way that i wanted them to this year i think fair enough um i'm gonna go with um like a dragon infinite wealth i feel like it's one of those games that it's a sequel uh, in a world that people raved about when the first game came out and there's gonna be a lot of people I played it, but there's going to be a lot of people who didn't play it that are going to have heard how good that game was. I think it's setting a better place for a Western audience as well to maybe get their mind around it, um, with yeah. it being in, in America. Hawaii, uh, Hawaii, Hawaii, yeah, I believe yeah. so. Um, and I think that's going to draw people in. I feel like this is the game that's going to have TikTok by its balls, like... where they're going to see the wackiness stuff coming out of it, and then people are going to go, wait, that's in this game? I thought this was a turn-based you know 
It's like, mm -hmm. wait, but I can go go-karting? Oh, wait, but I can do this? Wait, but I can do that? Wait, but there's whatever else is in the game, right? Which is why I fell in love with it, with the first game, where yeah. I was just like, the the, the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, though amazing and fun, it was the jumping in the shopping cart and collecting all the uh, cans yeah. that sticks out into my mind about that game. So, um, yeah, and I think it, it could really get like, people. Like it's, Dragon in the West was an exclusive originally, yeah? What do you mean? Uh, was it, was I think like it originally came to like, Xbox only. Yeah, Xbox yeah. only, like outside of Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Didn't know that. Yeah. I think it was a timed exclusive, right? It came to yeah, yeah, yeah. I but that's came, what I'm saying. Like yeah, on launch, oh, it was right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not not complete exclusive. Um, mm -hmm. I think this releasing on all platforms, like yeah. day one, is going to be huge for it. Where that didn't, it didn't have that aspect of the conversation over here. So I'm sure, like a dragon, still did fantastic in Jap in Japan. It's just hard to know like what the conversation was like over there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that was that game was on my list actually for games that might be up there because it did have a lot of very very positive talk for that game and I, I agree with you the hawaii aspect um just something more approachable to the more western audience a lot yeah, of times absolutely uh, yeah I, so that's definitely the original like the the first game in this in this world is probably my biggest regret for not beating mm. a game it's probably up there of like a game that was so fun and so enjoyable to play that i just couldn't beat um just because of time because they are big games um, yeah. But yeah, the sequel I'm so hyped on. Yeah, I think it could be up there. I do. And they promised this one is the biggest one ever, which mm. is either a great thing or a horrifying thing, depending on who you are and for you, Fix. Probably horrifying. Yeah, but I, 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 I think it's unfair, right? Like, for me, it's horrifying because I'm a streamer that has to move on with the conversation. Sure. But for someone who is spending $70 on this game, I think it's one of the best things ever. Like, yeah. I remember being excited back in the day about big games and i feel like sometimes we us our industry we lose sight of that we're very quick to be like 10 hour experiences yay or two hour experiences yay and we're like very good while we're getting given our game code from publisher early and all of this stuff sometimes sometimes sure. i'm not saying we do all the time but sometimes we definitely do lose sight of the fact of 70 dollars is 70 dollars or 70 pounds 60 pound whatever it is it's that much money and people do like in certain aspects, bang for their buck, and they're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, definitely, it's gonna be my first infinite wealth game, like a dragon game, whatever they're deciding to call it nowadays. Uh, I think I'm it's sorry. gonna be my, ooh, I want to say fourth, but oh. it's probably gonna be the first one I put any actual time into. Uh, if I don't get time uh, over the Christmas period to do uh, Manu lost his name or whatever they called it. Oh, the Manu uh, raised his lost name. The man who uh, dropped his name down the back of the sofa. Yeah, yeah, that mm -hmm. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that yeah. one. Yeah, that and one. also just, just as a, a final point on uh, like a dragon, it's got the hallmark of a game of the year contender by having segues in there. Yes. So yeah, uh, just remind segue? me the the last game that won game of the year because it had segues in it. Um, oh, I'm, I'm talking about that one. You know the one with that, the segues, the one with the, yeah, with yeah. the thing and the stuff and the. How and could the you forget YouTuber? about it? Man. And Fortnite, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. Fortnite. <laughs> was Fortnite ever nominated game for Game of the Year? No. 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 It's probably like been nominated for like best ongoing game, I would yeah. assume. Right? A lot I mean, I'm pretty sure it wins it almost every year. Not this year. Not this year. Not this year. I don't think it won it last year either. It doesn't win it most years. What, two years out of the ten? Okay. The last couple of years. It doesn't win. I don't know if it's ever won. I'll, I'll look I'll it up. It wins, it wins this year. If you yeah, want to yeah. throw, throw out one, oh, it it'll wins win. this it'll, year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't think they're done with. I don't the, think they're the, done either. They're going to release what, at least like you, one or two. Have you seen the leak sure. about the sports stuff they're doing? I haven't seen any doing? leak. No, no, no. Oh, seen there's, there's like leak of like sports. They're doing like a sports. Fortnite yeah. sports. With so like a basketball game and... Bro. Like Wii Sports in Fortnite? Yeah. Basically. They pretty much are going to have taken like the Mario... Mm -hmm. golf mario soccer mario tennis and just gone no nah, we're good yeah now you can now you can play as master chief while playing golf yeah like <laughs> yeah nuts basically absolutely nuts um any what any more you want to throw out there boys for what will be uh, up there 100 percent. i think oh, oh go on crash final fantasy 7 rebirth i think oh. is going to be up in that conversation for sure um, 100%. the other game with segways next year yeah yeah yeah, Call it, telling you. It it's segways. Next year's going to be the segue. 2024, the year is segways. Every game's going to be there with segways. Mm -hmm. Like a Dragon, Final Fantasy VII, 
Fortnite. Other games. Other games. We'll definitely have them. Okay. <laughs> Hellblade <laughs> 2 is going to have one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, if you say so. Um, yeah, no, 100%. Obviously not coming out on Xbox, unfortunately. But um, mm. yeah, it will 100% be up there in the conversation. And I am more excited for that game than I am anything else in the world, I think. What, do you good. think... Do you think it has to do anything like drastically different to remake, or do you think like more of the me, same? More of the same. For me, keep it exactly the same, but keep that story going. Simple. Because like, I feel like that was a little bit of the conversation around Spider Man this year, right? Of going, mm -hmm. oh, it's just more Spider Man. But, like, there's some extra cool things yeah. in there, but people weren't talking about it in the same way they were when Spider Man came out on PS4. The, I don't know. The benefit you have with. Um... Final Fantasy as opposed to Spider-Man is A, it's remaking something that's already existed, and B, it's not going to be set in mainly the same area, right? Spider-Man 2 is still in New York. You got more of New York in it, but it was still New York for the most part. Sure, Whereas uh, yeah. Final Fantasy 7, you're going to have a new setting, the continuation of that story, um, new characters to play where you did get Miles Morales and Spider-Man, but Spider-Man ends up feeling like he's missing tools because you don't have all the suits that you can play around with the different abilities in that game like there's mm -hmm. conversations you can have on stuff missing in spider-man 2 i don't know from what we've seen so far uh if that'll be the case with final fantasy 7 right now and again i think in any other year spider-man's conversation is way bigger if they're not up against an alan wake a bowler's gate um, sure yeah sure i agree with that tears of the like, kingdom, tears of the kingdom yeah. super mario um yeah. i get yeah. Sp Spider Man is a I have I haven't played it yet. Um, plan to play it over Christmas. Um, but Spider Man is a hundred percent probably. I I'm sure I'm gonna love it when I do play it. It's a game that the conversation was there, but it just wasn't as loud because we were still shouting about Baldur's Gate and other things. For sure. Right? Where I don't sure. think Final Fantasy VII is going to have that. I look around, even talking about this list that we're talking about, right? Like I look around and I'm going. Mm. I, I, there's going to be some really good games and there's going to be yeah, some yeah. some solid solid games but they're not going to be uh, not i hate to say it level. but it's, it's not going to be boulders game I, like, i'm sorry i'm playing nothing, i'm still playing and i'm just yeah. like this game is ridiculous so yeah Wait, nothing you... we've mentioned before i think as the fervor that uh, the final fantasy series has like the excitement no. levels we've just like i'm at the point now i'm avoiding watching anything new because i just don't want to see anything more because i know i want to experience it for the first time because i'm that excited for it and i know i'm gonna love it and i think there's a lot of people out there that have just got like that same kind of hype level for it and whether that is going to be justified i don't know but i believe from what we got from the original remake uh so from rebirth that yeah if they keep like firing on all cylinders that they have done on that one and just expanding on the world the fact that it's two discs long which that's a gimmick right Yes, is they've it? done that for Final Fantasy. Yes, no, yes. No, it's, no, a gimmick, yes. No. it's a gimmick. Yes, it's a gimmick. Is it's it a gimmick? Come with anything on the disc it's anymore. a gimmick and Despawn has fallen hook, line, and sinker <laughs> for it. Yes, it's a gimmick. Right. If Yeah, I mean, if you are right, if it is just like there's nothing on the disc, why is it two discs? That's fine. But... I'm with Despawn. How, why would they do that? Not like, a gimmick. Yeah, I don't think it's a gimmick. What, 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 what? I get no this. I'm playing digitally. What, I think. I think. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm playing so, digital as well. I've got a digital. To, to, to Matt's point about the games not coming with anything, all they have to do is put the game on the actual disc for it to be two discs, right? But, but then, but then that depends how big the game is, right? Like there saying, is the yeah. maximum amount of size you can put on a disc. It's not yeah. that big. It's not. It's not 50 gigs. You can't put 50 yeah. gigs on a disc. So if the game's 100 gigs, you could have be. like the base game there, and then have people install shaders like you do on PC. Yeah, no? I, mean, I don't know. The technical, I don't. I, I, I'm not. I'm not a game dev. I don't I got, know how the technicalities are work, right? Um, but like, I'm just trying to keep the dream alive. Yeah. Okay, sure, I'm just, sure, I just want I the dream it, to be it, alive. I, it. I think it's a cool nod. So yeah. it's a cool yeah, nod. Yeah, right? But it's just. It's just not. That is not going to impact the game being good, bad, oh, or no, no. or medium yeah. in the slightest. So, do you think they they it's have a the moment in there if you've bought two discs though, where it it says, "Hey, you need to put the other disc in now," and then if you just buy it online, you just don't have that. Yes. I'd like them to put it on the online version anyway. And so just make you sit there for a second. <laughs> just, just be like, do you, do you want to switch to the second half? Yes. Yeah. Okay, done. Like, cool. Go, go, you know, just go change any disc. Yeah, just, <laughs> just, just take any disc Wait, out. I don't remember the last console time. you're playing on and put the other disc in. And any yeah, disc. The digital version of PlayStation, you're just in trouble. You're not yeah, doing yeah, anything. Yeah, I'm, you're just, okay. you're not even playing the first half of the game. Screw you.
Uh oh. I like it. Mm. Um, but yeah. one game crash that I think might beat Final Fantasy for you, or at least stands a chance of being Final Fantasy for you next year, and maybe Just... everybody else as well. Black yeah. Myth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. That's Come on, that game looks great. That was yeah. I was gutted I wasn't on the reaction stream with you guys for Game mm-hmm. Awards when that trailer hit, and I was like. Oh, that, oh, that it's a really so good. good trailer. It looks so good. I, it looks, I 100% agree with you. Yeah, it looks amazing. I if, will not finish that game ever. I know that. If that game lives up to like what it looks like, I think it's a shoe in for game of the year. But it all depends on like when the players get the hands on it. How mm-hmm. does it really like play from start to end? Like a full like gameplay session. How does that play? I don't think so. You know? I, I think it looks amazing. But I feel like it's going to be compared to Elden Ring so much that that's going to be its problem, where people will go, oh, and again, they're not the same game, obviously, right? But it's going to have that comparison, and that's always the problem, right? When you have something even similar in the slightest that people go, oh, this thing is so good, but that thing is so much better. And that will, I'm talking about it from a perspective of game of the year. And that's why they'll go, oh, I'd rather give it to insert game here. You're not wrong. Even like when you're looking at Lies of P, there's stuff that Lies of P does that I think is actually cool that people looked at it and was like, Elden Ring does it this way or FromSoft games do it this way and this game doesn't do it that way. So it's yeah. inherently bad just because it's different. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's so like, I, I not, definitely... I'm not going to be that, but okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so there's yeah. definitely a conversation with that. I could 100% see that uh, being possible for sure. I think yeah. that both helps and hurts it though, right? The fact that we had this year Lies of P and Lords of the Fallen... I get people have differing opinions on them, but like they're both really solid Souls games that are not from software games. Um, Remnant I think it like helps well. the literacy. Hope, I, yeah, and I, I think like more fans have found that genre of game that they like it now. It's probably helped Black Myth a little bit, and and like like you say, that it shows so well. Like those mm-hmm. trailers get people so hyped. I, I will say uh, one benefit they do have is the whole. Chinese mythology aspect, uh, where it does feel original, even in comparison, where a lot, of, a lot of the other games you look at and you look at enemy designs and stuff like that, they come off very much as Souls designs, right? Sure. Now, I'm not talking about like uh, boss like combat moves and stuff like that. I'm talking about just the design aspect, where mm-hmm. this does come off as sort of like Chinese mythology. It doesn't come off as something that we've necessarily seen a whole seen lot before. in games. Yeah, I agree with that. But if Elden Ring DLC comes out in the same year as it. Mm-hmm. While Elden Which, Ring DLC maybe doesn't qualify for Game of the Year conversation, does that hurt it or help? Might, it? it might hurt it. It really depends so. on how it would be comparable to it, right? If it's comparable where it's like on par with it, I think it definitely bumps up the conversation for it. But if it ends up being worse, even like marginally worse than it, I do think it hurts that conversation quite a bit. Yeah, if that yeah. combat isn't as like on point as Elden Rings is, then yeah, it's automatically gonna people are just gonna be like, well, there's no Elden Ring DLC, so I'm not that bothered. Yeah, which is a shame. Uh, one more I want to throw out there: uh, Hades Two, not a game that I will absolutely mm. love, um, but it, it's early yeah. access. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, not gonna be on it. It's early access. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It is early access. So when's I that actually full release? Next year, you reckon? Probably. I think the original Hades was like two years before it got a full release, mm. which I do think wild. is actually gonna Hades Two. I'm gonna make a prediction that I don't know if it's gonna be true. I don't think Hades 2 is going to have the same sort of power as Hades 1 did because I think a lot more people are going to be playing early access and they're going to walk away not feeling as in, as much enjoyment as they did the original because they're not going to be playing a complete game and may not be willing to revisit it. I agree with you in one aspect, but then I think I would have made the exact same argument for Baldur's Gate and then look what's happened. Give me if I'm wrong. Didn't really play Baldur's Gate. What? People didn't really play Baldur's Gate like that. No, we no no. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. We didn't play Baldur's Gate like that. But there is a large audience that did. That's fair. That's fair. And then the game came out and was better for it. And I think that could be the same here. Where like you'll jump into it, go yeah, "Ah, it's great, but I want to wait for the full release, and then we go from there. You know, Um, that's what I think will end up happening. Yeah, I will also point out you're saying about like they're not being excited about a full release. Hades one had an early access release for two years. Yeah, no, you know, yeah, yeah, but Hades yeah, one yeah, that's was it, but that's that's what I'm saying. Hades one wasn't as hyped 
as Hades 2 will be going into it. So a okay. lot more people will be playing the early access. No one was expecting. One. No one was oh, expecting right. Hades one to be hate the way Hades came out. Right. I right. was so, I was hyped for Hades one, and so I, for me, I guess in my mind, I'm like more people are going to follow suit with what I did because I was hyped for Hades one because so I've always enjoyed in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Exactly. All right. With, um, a, so with more of a limited mind. scope of what we're going to be playing. Yeah. I get. Okay. Yeah. I get. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got one last one. Um. I don't know if it will ever be game of the year, but I think it could, like, the way this year's gone with their conversations. Alone in the Dark? Could it be, like, the next big no horror chance. title? Not even. You've got... That game could be a four. Really? Ah. <laughs> I, uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna... You assume... Right, if it launches next year, mm -hmm. um, I think... Silent Hill 2 remake is supposed to launch next year as well from Blooper Team, right? And mm -hmm. and it being involved in the same conversation as that. Alone in the Dark is one of those series where it's just like it Trash. just seems to fumble it whenever it whenever yes, it lands, it even with a you know pretty core fan base and and people being excited for each time. It, it whatever it seems to try, it just never seems to nail for whatever reason. It, um, it's the epitome of a double A survival horror game. Yeah. It has a survival or survival game, I should say, or um a horror game, I should say, sorry. Mm. Um it has the it has the setting, it has the it has all of these all the right aspects to it, but they yeah. never bring them all together correctly. Never. Okay. And they never have. I've never liked it. I've never liked it. Ever. Fair. <laughs> but this one has that guy from Stranger Things in it. Yeah. Hellboy. Couldn't give I've never seen Stranger Things don't give two shits. Wow. Well, yeah, I said it. I said it. Alright boys, what's been in your box? What you been playing? Crash, what you been playing, mate? I've been playing uh nothing. I've been playing nothing towards the end of the year, you know. That's when you decide to play nothing. Well, you mean you mean when we're doing our game of the year, and I know for a yeah. fact that you haven't played a load of games. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I you open up my mm -hmm. I open up to like look at the games that I have to play and I just stare at it for a minute and I'm like, wow, there's a lot of games. <laughs> I got some other stuff I got to do, and I just walk away. <laughs> Game paralysis. I respect it. Tell you yeah, that classic option paralysis. I love it. Uh, Matt, we haven't heard from you in 20 years. What have you been I playing? I guess not. Yeah. Um, so, uh, finished Alan Wake. Did I talk about that? Maybe I no, talked I... about that at some point. Jumped yeah, back into New Game Plus. Um, I think we're going to have a fight about that fix one day. What? Oh, Lord. Listening what? to you talk about Alan Wake got me going, mate. <laughs> Why? Because uh, you were talking about how you thought the survival horror aspects were not good and like the inventory wasn't very good and, and it gave you too many items and the combat wasn't very good and you played okay. it on yeah, did story you... mode. Yeah, exactly. So did you, you actively the... turned off did all you... those settings? Well, no, 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 I didn't. No, see, this is, this, is the, this is the problem, Matt. This is the problem. Did it say, store, there's a difference between fundamentally changing what the game is and then changing well, the game's difficulty. Yeah, because, no, 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 again, no. wait, 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 I, let, me, let me land, let me land, and you can interrupt me, no there. problem. Go. Oh, I'm going to land in my way. It might not be, okay. it might not be smooth, bad. but I'll be, be a kind of yeah. Yeah. Yeah, landing. Yeah. <laughs> what I take in difficulty is, and I'm, and I'm wrong, and I learned that once, and I already admitted that I've ruined my experience of that game fully oh, I by that. playing it the way I... Exactly. I already admitted that, that I played the game wrong because I played it on story mode because I was getting frustrated with the game. But you got to remember, you're entering this world where, I, I'll be honest with you, I think they do a very poor job in that game of explaining how you kill enemies at the start. They don't once say flashlight. You learn that. They don't. They do. I'm they doing don't. the new, new game plus. I'm doing it. It pops up on when, the screen. When? Okay. Like, so, the, the first time you get the flashlight and you go up against an enemy, it pops up on the screen right in the center. Hold RB to damage an enemy and attack them with your gun. So the world, the game doesn't tell you. A prompt comes up. What, go on. what are you trying to say here? <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm, playing on, I'm, I'm playing on mass and keyboard number one. Okay. Well, it still yeah. should tell you the same thing. Okay, you so tell you, you what the you don't think, you don't think, you don't prompt think. is the game telling you. Okay, well, I didn't see the prompt. I didn't see the prompt. Okay. okay. Clearly, clearly. It's, like, it's small, it's right in the center. It's really easy to miss. It's fine. Coming from you, big man. You can't <laughs> even do a call out in the final. Stop yourself. All right, relax, relax. <laughs> um, I'm, but again, I know that I was wrong. Again, I know that I, I know that I've ruined my experience in that game. Not, again, I, I understand that the game's amazing and stuff like that. But I was just like, look, 
I'm not enjoying this. I'm dying a lot. And I was, I was dying a lot because I wasn't quite understanding it. Plus it was that problem of, I was playing on mouse and keyboard. Then I was playing on controller. Then I was playing on mouse and keyboard. So I wasn't remembering the button schemes across both very well. Mm. So I was like, do you know what? I'm ruining, I know I'm ruining this experience. So let me just drop it down to story mode. Simple. But yeah, Fair you enough. missed the whole episode of where I said I'm in the wrong for the way I'm playing this. Maybe, maybe. Fair no, no, maybe. Did. He did say that in the episode. <laughs> he did, he did, he did say, say that in the episode. Uh, it was at the end of his whole rant where it would have mm -hmm. been better if he started that off with it. But, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Steam no, was my, already coming no, no. out. My, my, okay, yeah, my, no, 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 no. my rant was at despawn. My rant was at despawn saying that the game had amazing resources. And then I played it not knowing what difficulty he played on as well. Sure. Yeah. Fair but I beat the game as well. It's fantastic. Um, I don't really feel the need to play New Game Plus, though. I'll be honest. I get that. And I think, yeah. I think like the stuff that New Game Plus gives you isn't, you know, I isn't am cool enough to warrant it. Yeah, I am solely playing. Again, it's in the trailer for New Game Plus, so I'm not spoiling anything. I am solely playing for the new ending. That is literally it. Sure. So that's, yeah. I, can just, I can just YouTube it. Yeah, you could, but I mean, I, I enjoy playing the game, so any, any excuse to play it is good enough for me. Oh no, absolutely. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I'm definitely one hundred percent doing New Game Plus in story mode, just to fly through it. I also started. Um, oh God, what's it called? Sea Seafarer? No, Spiritfarer. Spiritfarer. Okay. Thank you, Despawn. Uh, started that with Emma. Um, a very early on. Did that come out this year? No, I half started it because I thought it came out this year and it was on my oh, list to play it? and then I was like, was it did it come out this year? It was like a 2021 game. Yeah, yeah it's been out for a while. I thought yeah. I was taking something off the list. I think they had, oh, a, defini well. they had a definitive edition, I think, this year. Uh, but I cool. think the original version of it. Oh, uh, yeah, no, 2020. What? There you go. Gee, what? Go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Play catch up, son. flat circle. Uh, never mind then. Well, I mean, I can mention it still. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, really early on, it got not much more to say about it. Um, other than it kind of just makes me want to play Dread because I'm on a boat and I really enjoy Dread this year. And maybe you excited for the, the 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 barber the bar, the Dave? It's not Bob's Diver. Burger, mate. It's not Bob's, Bob's Burger. Burger. Dave, Bob's David Diver. Diver. Yeah. Bob's Burgers, yeah. Really excited. Um, I didn't play David the Diver, and so that's on the list to tick off as well. Okay. Um. So like that crossover, I guess, doesn't really do anything for me other than loving Dredge and knowing people love Dave the Diver. But I think I need to play Dave the Diver first. Emma right. started Dave the Diver, um, but Emma Emma has a phobia of going into water in games, like oh. die, like really weird. She swam with sharks in real life, mm -hmm. but for some reason has a phobia. Like even in like Assassin's Creed games, where she has to like dive underwater to go get treasure and stuff, she makes me do it. She has like a, a real genuine. Uh, fucked up phobia of it so um so dave the diver was a quick in and out for her she was like yeah. oh uh, to be fair it's in the name of the game you're diver oh, you're, you're diver. literally a diver <laughs> so that's, that's not fair, to be fair but um, yeah <laughs> can't be that shocked so I, need, I need to jump into dave the diver fair enough this one uh talking of crossovers uh, i played the new vampire survivors dlc uh it is a among us crossover. it is a crossover with among us so it's the emergency meeting dlc uh, so you basically you play on the, I can't remember which map it what they call the map in the Among Us game, but it's the one that's like a crash spaceship. There's like a lava section. Yeah. Uh, you know which one I'm on about. It's basically that as a as a Vampire Survivors map. Um, mm. There's like a ton of new uh, characters to unlock, which are all of the uh, crewmates. Uh, like loads of new weapons based around Among Us as well. Really cool. I'm really enjoying it so far. Definitely recommend it if you are a Vampire Survivors fan. Still no vampires, which is weird. Fair enough. Bizarre. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, I'm a Platinum Pixel 4.0. So, yeah. That's did you get in? Me. Or I, do you mean, I've when you say in, you've been I've playing, been you mean you've been queuing? No, I've been, no, 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 you fucking dickhead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 did, I did queue for 30 hours before I got Whoa. in. Oh, Yep. And is that, sorry, it, it, forgive my naivete, no, is that course. just because they released 4.0, so everybody who was ever in it, all the big boys, decide they're coming back? Yeah, and the big boys have priority. So they have uh, a thing called prior, which means they get to be in the queue first, um, and then the rest of us scrubs have to fire out of the back. Um, 
But yeah, they have this, the, the way no Pixel does it, no one cares, this is way too much information, but the way it does it is the more you're in queue, the more chance you have of random priority. Um, but there's still some broken systems in there that's a pain in the ass. Like you're literally, it's this crazy that I have to bring up a stop clock, a clock with it by the seconds and I have to sit there and wait and then click it at a specific time and certain seconds to guarantee that I get, or to try and guarantee that I get in. And then they have this thing called shuffling. So you get in the queue, it gives you a number, and then it shuffles you either closer to the queue or further back to try and give other people a chance in it. So yeah, it took Sounds me like 30 hours. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. They're trying stuff. People it's, always yeah, like, choose their shit yeah. no matter what. So at least yeah, there's sure. some some attempts. Yeah, it's not it's not amazing, but you know, it's one of those ones. I mean, I'm yeah. I've I. Ask Hagley what I was like the first 30 hours. I was depressed as fuck. Mm -hmm. I am not going to like it. was like three or four days of not being able to get in and just having streams on in the background, not watching because I don't want to matter it. So I don't want to learn anything. Yeah. But, um, but I just wanted to see people doing it. And I'm like, I need to be a part of that. And then I've got in for the last two days and I've had a great time. Yeah, and do you have to like fun. restart? Yeah, with done. A 4 everything's, update? Yeah, everything's over. Every, so I have no money, I have no cars, I have nothing. I am I'm currently playing my character as a washed up rapper. Um that uh his record label stole all of his mixes masters and all of his awards and all his money. So we started. Again. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So that's all Very I've cool. been doing. Um the plan is I'm gonna be playing some Avatar um tomorrow. No, Thursday. First down, plan some Avatar. I'm going to carry on with that. Then I want to play through that offline, I think. Um, carry on that playthrough. I really want to get to Dredge. I feel like that's mm -hmm. the one game that you have suggested to me this year that you've been like, yo, I think you'll like this. And I've sort of blown it off quite a lot because I'm like, it's Matt. He has terrible takes. But I think I'm going to try and play it over Christmas. Remember a year ago or two years ago when I... Did the exact same thing for Artful Escape. Yeah, I played Artful played Escape and didn't like it. Did you? No, I'm the one who never played Artful Escape. I didn't play it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. Yeah, but, <laughs> well, to be shit. fair, you hyped up Artful Escape way more than so, you did Drudge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, you really, I think you undervalue how much you hyped up Artful Escape. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, and it then was when like, it came to Game of the Year list, it came out like number eight or nine or something like that. It was pretty low on your game of the year list. Is yeah, it was it, a good year. It was a good year for is it, is it worth? Is it worth? And be honest, it's on sale right now. But is it worth the sixteen pound forty nine pence? Isn't it on Game Pass? No, no, it's not. Just, I don't believe. Is it worth the how much did you just Wait, say? What are we talking about? Sixteen pound and forty. Uh, dread. Oh, dread. Sixteen, 16 quid, pound yeah, and forty nine pence. Less than twenty pence. quid is, is worth it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, other question that's going to derail the podcast so much, but I need you to answer it on the podcast. Should I buy an Oculus Quest 3? Mate, I'm so fucking tempted. Like, it, it, it's so, <laughs> so dumb. One. Like, I'm, I've literally got my two down there in a box. Uh, me too. I've got mine in, um, under the bed somewhere. So the same reason, yeah, right? Yeah, it's dumb, isn't it? How, how, how close I am to doing it. The, the, the cloud gaming thing, is that available on two as well? Nope. It's a three exclusive thing. Yeah, I thought yep. so. Um, which is stupid because there's no reason it couldn't run on two. Apart from or they want one. to sell more. Well, sure. sure. <laughs> but it's like that Assassin's Creed, the well, Assassin's Creed VR I, game. Is Meta has to get, as well. they, they have to get something for having Game Pass on it, right? It's not like hardware sales are a big thing to keep people invested in the future of VR. Mm. Phil Spencer told me he wants me to play my Xbox wherever I want, and I want to play it on my Quest too. So I feel I like I want to play it on my PS5, but we're struggling out here right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. The only thing I'm worried about is, you know, Hayley's watching TV. I'm sat next to her with a fucking Quest on my head. I'm not hitting her in the head, but like just with a Quest on the head playing Xbox games, it's like, is that too far? Is like it, she puts mm. up, a, she puts up with a lot in our relationship. Mm -hmm. Is that a step too far? Yeah, I think there's only one way to find out. Yeah, by, by buying you it. Take the step. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you take the step. I just bought dreads. By the way, I bought it. I bought it. Okay. I bought it. So I now own it, and it is installed. Um, better play it this year. Yeah, of course, of it's course. Camera. You, you love that camera. I hate that camera. <laughs> you do. You love that camera. Remember? That's, yeah. Ask Santa for a yeah. new camera. You don't remember. 
don't know why Hayden's looking at me. Do you want to be a part of this podcast or what? What's what's the problem? Well, you can't go silent because people are not gonna like. You you guys have to talk so I can hear what she says. Right? Okay. No, go on. uh, Say something. So I'm thinking by request. Yeah, just by request, I'll be fine. So I'm with you, Matt. Like I 100 percent was like, I do not need VR headset. I don't want a VR headset. Like I don't. I'm not buying the Quest Two. Don't need it. No reason for it. Oh, it's on Game Pass is on there. Yeah, I'm now looking at uh, the best way to get one. Here's what I'll say. Despawn, I'm not sure. I feel like you might actually play the quest, right? Mm-hmm. Fix, he's not going to play the quest. Yeah, Fix is going to get it. He's not going to play it. Yeah. Matt's way too busy to get a quest. He doesn't have enough time as is to well, yeah, yeah, see, the quest. How I justified it with the two, right? Mm-hmm. And, and to be fair, I got given the two through work. But like <laughs> initially when I got the two... Yeah, initially when I got the two, I was like, this is actually going to save me time, right, Crush? Because now I don't have to go to the gym. I can instead oh, do yeah. workouts <laughs> in the quest. Mm-hmm. Not even Beat Saber, fix, uh, despawn. I bought fucking, I can't even remember. Oh, like pure Ginny gym McKeith's or whatever it is. Boxer yeah. size, oh, yeah. <laughs> it definitely wasn't Jillian McKeith. Crush has no idea who Jillian McKeith I... is, rightly so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I bought some fucking boxer size thing, did it like four times, and was like, well, I'm never doing this ever again. But like, the, the problem feel... is like, go on, so go on. I was going to say, I've got to feel like those kind of workouts with a headset on, like, have got to be the most painful thing in the world. Just like, I, you know what, actually, just, like, just the headset just constantly banging you in the nose. Mm, no, it's not too doesn't. bad. The no, Quest okay. 2 is, like, so light, and uh, yeah, like, okay. if you did it with a PSVR 2, probably, yeah, like that. I oh, I mean, I'd give myself whiplash, great, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the Quest 2 is really good. And, like, okay. the, the thing, like, genuinely, if I'd played walking dead saints and sinners in the year it came out it probably would have made my like game of the year list that year yeah um because it's fucking brilliant i don't think there are enough experiences like that but then everybody's talking about this fucking asgard's wrath 2 and it's getting fucking tense from it's, free, I'm like, it's free with the quest free it's free with the quest mm-hmm. 3 we're saving ourselves money and time going to the gym by buying what? quest 3s let's just buy them all right now together on podcast okay what i will say is mine can be a tax write-off you know, I know my tax was going to be high this year. I'm like, hey, I need to buy stuff for the business, so mm-hmm. why not? Uh, that's my that's my yeah. rationale for it. That's yeah. my rationale for it. My quest and me. My quest and me. Coming well, no, but my, my, no, I told you, my <laughs> Xbox and my, uh, my, my Xbox and me extra, and it's just the extra stuff that we do. So it's when we want to play a, a PlayStation game or a mm-hmm. Quest game or whatever. I mean, <laughs> but this whole conversation started because it's now got Xbox on the Quest. So exactly, hundred you know, percent. Which while we're talking 100%. about Beat Saber and working out and all this stuff, is literally the only reason I want one. Only reason. I just want to play. It's good. I just want to play Halo on a cinema screen size display. To be fair, I've never done that. That sounds amazing. I've never, I've never like watched anything or or like really done a game through the big yeah. like cinema <laughs> screen thing. Yeah, I've never watched anything either on the Quest. Definitely mm-hmm, not. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> moving on, boys. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this week's dashboard. Uh, Eldozo come with a great question, so we'll read it out and answer it now. Uh, wait, does this ignore wait, the what? first half? Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what will be your New Year New Year's gaming resolutions? Um, for me, again, I say it every year. I do say it every year, so I'll kick us off. It's I do want to play more indie games that are the big ones. I feel like I feel like I do our industry a disservice by when we do the it comes to the game awards, right? And I go, I have another that. I haven't heard of that. I haven't heard of that. I think that's a... I've become the typical gamer. The, the, the Don't get me wrong. I can't be that typical. I play fucking roleplay. But you know what I mean, right? Like, I get all the big experiences done, and then I'll play a couple of things that interest me, but I, I always don't even give a try to some of these great indie titles. And that's that's got to be a focus for me next year to go, oh... This game come out and despawns on they talking about it, and I don't go, yeah, probably not for me. How about I actually just play the goddamn thing and find out if it's actually for me, mm-hmm. you know? Because I feel like I, I use it as a, a crutch a lot of the time. So that's that's number one for me. Number two is just beating more games again. I um, I, I feel like I've done a good job of beating the games that I care about. I feel like I've done a good job of quitting games early enough for games I know that are not interested about. 
there's a couple of games. I think um, Hogwarts Legacy is a great example of that, right? Mm. Like, don't get me wrong, fuck J.K. Rowling, whatever, whatever. I love the Harry Potter world. I love um, what's been created there. I love Hogwarts Legacy, right? But it probably won't be... It, no, it might still make my top 10 just because of what I played of it, enough of it. But I did that game a disservice and just didn't bother playing it anymore, which I think is kind of unfair for the game itself. Now, the, the drama around it is a whole different topic, but I, I definitely did that game a disservice because it would be a lot higher on my list if I... A lot higher on my list if I beat it um, 100%. Mm. Anyone, anyone got any? Uh, I was going to say, I was going to leave with what you said, like completing games, um, I think is going to be my big focus for next year of like, actually, I've done a lot of kind of like started a game, got about halfway through, had to move on to the next thing and never actually made the time to go back and finish a game. I, w- I want to make that effort to actually like give games that I'm enjoying like the full attention. Like I still haven't gone back in the last couple of weeks to play Baldur's Gate anymore. And I really want to do that. Um, Don't yeah, bother. Think- Just play, play through it with us. Yeah, well, that's it. I think that's it now. Knowing that we're going to be doing that in the new year, hopefully, I think it's going to be a case of it's like, there's no hopefully, oh, mate. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, I'm being told. Okay, uh, yes. so yeah, so I think, yeah, that'd be my big thing is just like play more games and again, leading into that as well, getting in more co op uh experiences down because I have one of my main issues as a gamer and just as, as a creator as well is I'm very uh singular in what I play, so like, I've, I always try and stick even if it's like a multiplayer game i'll still play it as a solo like squads most of the time i never hit people up yet every time that we've done it or i've done it with anyone else it's been one of the best experiences in gaming is like you know your friends are just having a fun is like there's nothing quite like it playing with friends is a great idea you know Mm -hmm. um Microsoft now owns World of Warcraft, boys. I think it's the time we start up. my Xbox and me. You're joking. We all jump in. If you said to me, I want you to come play it and we're playing it, I'd do it. You know that. No, you know, you know that. that. Oh, no me. one does, but, but, but I mean, I'll do it for you. So, you know. these ones, these ones can't be. These ones had like. The, I've, I've gone gold turkey on wild for a reason. Like, I did the Burning yeah. Crusade and it basically ended my relationships at the time. So, I know it's a dangerous game to get back into. But, I mean, I don't really like sleeping that much anyway. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me, let me piggyback back off of what you just said, though, right? Which is, I 100% agree with you. 100% agree with you when it comes to just hitting people up to play games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what it is, but as I've gotten, bro, maybe, well, Kresh has known me the longest out of all of you guys, right? Me and Kresh used to sit in a Discord together for stupid amount of hours yeah like i'm talking i saw crush at one well not saw but spoke to crush at one point more than i spoke to any individual ever and obviously things have changed work has changed you know the business has changed crush's life has changed whatever whatever right but i said to him when as soon as i move and he he's become he i'm gonna call him out right now he has become Ooh. such a fucking dickhead i hate him Ooh. i hate him get him <laughs> have i, I become a dickhead him. get him because he appears offline on everything so i no longer yeah. know okay. when he's online so i can't even i'll be awake at 11 o'clock one night right mm-hmm. and i can't even it, it feels <laughs> weird <laughs> to go it feels strange to go discord message hi crash fair. Uh, would That's you fair. like to come play a game instead That's of fair. like Oh shit, Crusher on the game. Should you know we what? play a I'm, game? I'm gonna start appearing online on Discord only for you. Everything else I'll appear. I'm not changing. I'm not it doesn't changing help else. though, because you sometimes you just glare over to your Steam friends or your epic friends or whatever. But I'll tell you lot now, you four okay. free individuals, hit me up anytime you want. Generally. Like the worst someone's gonna say is no, or I can't, I'm doing something else, or give me 10 minutes and I'm there, which is, Haley will tell you, I do that all the time. If Crash was to hit me up ever and be like, want to play a game? I would tell Haley, pause the TV show, I'm going to play games with Crash. 100%. Yeah, but you got so little time with Haley. Fuck Haley, I don't care. <laughs> Fair. You know what? Like, Fair. No, but do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like yeah. we just, as we get older, we get, we become so conscious of like, Oh, they're probably busy. Don't oh. want to be a I don't want to bother them. I don't, I don't want to bother wanna, them. Yeah. Like, no, I'm telling mm. you right now, bother me as much as you want. The worst I'm going to... And I started doing it to Crush, to be fair. When we played Bob's oh, Gate. Yeah. Like, you want to play Bob's Gate? No, I'm busy. All right. 
Well, but was Which, to be no. fair, we've played more like <laughs> no, non content You stopped playing games. that. Yeah. Because you didn't want to progress with us. Yeah. We carried on. We I carried, on. carried on. Well, uh, yeah, I know. Do you regret it a little bit because now you haven't gone back with your other friends? No, because I wouldn't have been there for every time you guys play and you guys would have progressed without me and I would have been in the we middle would of have waited. plots that I don't know. We would have waited for you. Yeah, but you guys are already barely playing it. So, that's, you know who I, that's because of? I know we're getting so many tangents here. Don't give no, a fuck. Listen to this. Let me know what you think of this, this guys, yeah? Okay. Hayley, uh, Corey, what do you want to do? Hayley says. Corey says, let's play Bowls game. Hayley says, no, it's eight o'clock. Bruh. That's like the start of game time. That, bruh. I was pissed. <laughs> I was <laughs> pissed. Bruh. Guys, I was so angry. You don't understand. Don't throw that at me. I was I so it. angry. I was I like, it. I was like, you're taking the, like she's just broke up from work. She hasn't got to get up in the morning. I'm like a teenager, like ready to go and buy some fucking mat and do and some Doritos and just play games all night. She's like, no, it's no chance. It's, no chance. It's the difference in the way you two play fix. When yeah, you like, play, no. you just like sort of run in and you're doing whatever. When Haley plays, she's like, I'm gonna think everything through. And Haley's just like. Mm. It's eight o'clock. I don't want to yeah, be thinking. Think. I just want, I want to turn mm -hmm. off my brain. She can't. Yeah. She can't not think and just have fun. She like so. And she then, has fun she, thinking. Fix. And then, I know that's a weird concept, but oh, that's a crazy thing to say. To me, that's a crazy thing to say. Thinking so hard for me, There's but like sometimes. that's not fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get that. Do you get what I mean by that? Yeah, like, thinking, thinking you know? is not fun. <laughs> I don't play games to think. I play games yeah, to. I said, go that. I said that on stream once, and mm -hmm. someone was like, "You're a fucking idiot." I was like, "Nope, that's the nope. truth. I do not play games to think." Mm -hmm. Like, no, but yeah. Unless you're playing Football Manager. No, Football no. Manager is probably one of the most non-thinking games ever. Oh, really? I it's thought like, you well, yeah, make go up, make. Well, no, half yeah. half of it is once you've done like your transfers and stuff like that. Half of that is click play and wait, make a substitute here and there. Like, no, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not talking about a tangent. Yeah. A tangent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go on, Crash. I, I was gonna say, if you've ever watched Fix play a stealth game, you know the fact that he doesn't think. This is the reason that. he doesn't like stealth games is because no. he's like, I have to think how I have to approach this scenario. I'm just gonna go and shoot. <laughs> what Bro, do you want me like it. For? I've so made it my brand now. Like, I play Ubi games, right? And there's like everyone in the chat's like, oh, stealth, stealth, and you've got me just like, nope. Run in, slice, slice, slice. Everyone kick in the chicken. chat goes, gets angry. Kick a chicken, you know, do whatever I've got to do. They get so Standard. angry. They I, get um, so angry. I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, what's been in my box, also Avatar. Um, mm -hmm. Easy mode's not easy enough. <laughs> I keep oh, wow. dying in easy mode. And it's because I don't want to think. And it's like, oh, well, they've, they've got big machine guns and yep. machines, and they're better than you, so you should play the stealth here. I'm like, I don't want to. I just want to shoot stuff. Have you got yeah. your machine gun yet? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Doesn't feel great. I think it doesn't feel powerful enough. Okay. I'm not probably not as far as you. I'm not very far. Yeah. Mm. All right. What we'll talk that? about next week. We'll talk All about right. next week. Yeah. I got you a code for that, by the way, Crash. You're not going to play it, but. I got one more resolution that might make you guys happy. And it's <gasps> oh, yeah. Please, please. Oh, my God. I'm going to try more non Western games. I'm going to try Final Fantasy again. Please. I'm gonna Ooh. get in to try Yakuza. Maybe I'll even throw a Persona in there. No, <gasps> you don't have the hours. You, don't do you, that. you are. I, you do not have the hours. No, start with the, no, start with the no. first two, and and then, bro. I've I've said for years I'm gonna start Persona. Eldo, uh, not Eldo. So, uh, Stead will call me out Stead. in the Discord mm -hmm, this yeah. week, 100. percent Oh, oh, yeah, he's gonna finish Persona Five this year, is he? Oh, oh, oh. You, there, there's a pizza bet on you playing Persona Five. I forget with who. If it was with me or if it was with. Matt, or Sony, me. there's a decent, there's a pizza bed for Persona 5 that I don't remember. I have to check the doc. I'll check it afterwards. It wouldn't I, can still, I, I, I can still beat that. it. I can still do it. Yeah, you've only got to do 200 hours. It's not even 200 hours. You could do it in like I 70, could do 80. it. You can do 78. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's like a week of streaming. Sorted. Where'd he lose yeah. your prio and then just do it that week? No, Fix plays it off screen I'm while he's doing screen. prio. He's not even paying attention. And he's just like talking to chat, looking at chat, not even looking at the game, just mm -hmm. mindlessly pressing A, trying to get mm -hmm. through that game. Mm -hmm. that uh, sounds right. That's yeah, sounds about right, yeah. Sounds like content to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, you got any others? Crash, you got you got any resolutions? No, I don't I don't do resolutions. 
Wow. He doesn't do Christmas. Wait for, he doesn't you, do resolutions. You do, if you wait for a new year to do resolutions, you're not going to do none of those resolutions. That's true. So. Fair. Is that my excuse for just not doing resolutions? Absolutely. Yeah, probably. <laughs> East Bond, you got any? Uh, I'll give you one. No, I'll give oh, it yeah. two. But yeah, no. Right. Um, <laughs> I'll give Matt more shit for not turning it. No. Um... <laughs> Matt's I think a, a, a resolution is a busy bless. Bless. I don't know. We, we give Matt, Matt so much shit. <laughs> yeah, we can give Matt shit. I'm not giving Matt less shit. You've got no chance. I'll yeah, give no. Despawn more shit because he's yeah. sassy as fuck lately. Oh, I'm a but sassy little boy. But I tell you, since we started doing this podcast, I've learned how fucking sassy this guy gets. Let me tell you. But I thought he was just a dickhead in chat. No, no. Nope. Oh, no. He's a dickhead all the time. Didn't I'm not. a sassy Didn't little boy. He's a northern <laughs> chum. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, all right, we'll do one more talking before we before we move on. We've we've gone a little bit long. People have got lives to have. Um, the Xbox have a good year this year, lads. To be honest with you, but it was if you look back and reminisce of twenty twenty three, you go. They had some rele- They released Hi Fi Rush, Redfall, Starfield, Motorsport, Pools of Motorsport, and Minecraft Legends. I don't think I've forgotten anything there. Uh, if I did, let us know in the comments below. You did have, like, Xbox have a good year? Are we going to include ports and stuff like that? Because like Xbox did technically get like uh, Deathloop and stuff like that now. Hmm. And Ghostwire Tokyo. Was that Ghost this year? Tokyo. Yeah. yeah, that was this year. Sure, for the sake of this argument. I think they had an okay year. But it has not been anywhere near their best. Did a four out of ten year. Four out of ten. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I think two different conversations can happen. One is the conversation with Game Pass included. Mm-hmm. Right? And I think that's a much more favorable conversation to Xbox. You had Agreed. stuff like Lies of P, you had like you had a bunch of great games coming on Game Pass. Uh the other conversation is without Game Pass, in which I think it's a much rougher situation and what really drags that whole conversation down for the most part is Redfall. Mm-hmm. Because while Star- Starfield, I don't think was amazing overall because there was a lot of mixed conversations around it. I don't think it was horrible also. I just think the Redfall coming out before that and just sort of being very, very, very lackluster sort of drags that Starfield conversation down a little bit more because that's also a Bethesda title as well, right? And that was yeah. Xbox's, Xbox's big acquisition before Activision, right? I think that was supposed for, to be turning the for, ship. Rough year for Bethesda, if we're yeah. being honest. I think the problem was that, yeah, when Redfall didn't hit at all, everyone automatically pinned their hopes on Starfield being the 10 out of 10 that they wanted it to be, uh, yeah. which I think put a bit too much undue pressure on it, uh, which is a shame, but yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I don't... I... I think they they plant they they promoted that game like it was gonna be a ten out of ten. Oh no, they did. Yeah, but I mean, would you would you call them out if they didn't though? No. Yeah, we, but I'm I'm just saying like they didn't. I don't know, if, man. I don't think they did the game if, any favor. Sometimes, if you know a game is not that good, you don't promote it the way they did. They did that with Redfall as well, though. Redfall had a yeah. ton of Redfall. Well, yeah. yeah, Redfall had more than Starfield. Let's. I, no, I feel like I no, saw more. For no, Redfall. you might. You might I, have saw more, but you, in London there was buses. It, okay, there that's was fair. so much yeah. stuff. I'd put I'm Redfall more marketing on, on the same level as Forspoken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I get. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, I'd put those two marketings on the same and and kind of the flop similar as well. Um, and so yeah, I, I don't think it's like unheard of that a big company gets behind a game like this and and it's a bit of a flop um but yeah for me like like as a game pass subscriber i'm happy with this year but as uh as if you look at the what we just talked about the the stuff that xbox released this year it's a it's weak man like and the misses are big misses starfield's a huge miss um yeah, yeah. And, and like even Halo Infinite, right, should still be a game that people are talking about it, and playing and enjoying. And all right, there are a handful it, of people now who resurg- say it is. I, I, I'm gonna, it resurg- I'm gonna disagree on Halo Infinite because Halo Infinite's done a huge U-turn from what it where it was mm-hmm. last year. It's in like, the I best position it's ever been. Yeah, I I think that's had like a progressively better take. And if the rest of the year and Redfall didn't come out, and I think I'm gonna keep going back to Redfall because I do think Redfall is the big outlier here. If Redfall hadn't come out, I don't think you'd be saying what, you, what you're what you saying about Halo Infinite. Because you needed Halo Infinite, and I kind of agree, to be a bigger game this year. 
because of yeah. everything else that was lackluster. But again, it comes back to like even Minecraft Legends wasn't that wasn't that wasn't a big hit. It's a it Minecraft like a seven, game. yeah, yeah. It's a, it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. I feel like it, Minecraft I mean, it was fun. Dungeon we enjoyed. Hit we played it. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes, it did. My uh, Minecraft Dungeons definitely hit bell, mm -hmm. but it's a but very even that, like spin-off Minecraft stuff doesn't hit the same way Minecraft no. does. Like, well, there's no, never going to be another Minecraft. Um, and so, like, anything they do in that spin-off world is, like, whatever. I disagree. Yeah. I think you can do something good. I just don't... Th I think everything ends up feeling... It always feels like they're trying to... It's a whole different conversation, but they're I always trying feel to like they're trying to re recapture that Minecraft feel instead of sort yeah. of, like, dedicating themselves to, like, these other genres completely, right? Yeah. And that's a whole different conversation, because, like, there's a conversation you can have if that's even worth it. Yeah, I think, like... They had the story mode uh, that Telltale did, which was kind of like a nice, interesting take on it. Um, but yeah, all the other ones definitely feel like the kind of a Minecraft with a other games like veneer on it a little bit, rather than it just being like a fully fledged thing that they're putting all of the power behind it. It just doesn't feel like it's... It's always skirting that middle ground between the two kind of genres it's trying to be, and it never quite hits either. But yeah... yeah. But I think Matt raised a really good point of like this is definitely a okay year for Xbox, but it's a great year for Game Pass. Like great, I, th I think the problem is as well that Microsoft's focus, which shouldn't have been the case, they should still be able to focus on their output of their games and stuff like that, has been the Activision thing. I think the the the, the way that that's probably engulfed half of that company in trying to get that through the door. Is uh, which again is just an excuse. They should at the end of the day they should be releasing good games. There's no two ways about it. But as a management thing, I'm sure that their focus has been elsewhere. Uh, I'm hoping, obviously, we got some really good announcements for this year. I think the on the announcement side, Xbox have been firing on all cylinders there, like things like Fable, um, Clockwork Revolution. Uh, what's the game from the We Happy Few type? Uh, team uh, uh, by midnight, South by midnight, South Remi midnight, yeah, South midnight, guess. yeah. Those ones have got like a ton of great announcements that are setting them up for like the next years to come. Uh, and then again, obviously, like I said, now that Activision's through the door and they can start working on that, I think this year has been really good for the future. But for a year on its own, no, not not the best by a long shot. Again, I've been doing this podcast for a really long time. Mm -hmm. I promise you. I've said that statement so much, you yeah. won't believe me. Like, the amount yeah. I have sat here and been like, next year be great. Xbox, well, Xbox have made some great announcements. Oh, yeah, next year's going to be great. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, Xbox uh, have made a great announcement. Oh, next year, that's going to be the year, man. Trust me, I've been here. The same stuff we're saying for Activision is the stuff we said for Bethesda. And True. as far as Bethesda's concerned, we got one out of three successes. Hi-Fi Rush, huge success for Xbox. It also happened to be the one that was probably least needed to be a success for Xbox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. when you're looking at the future for Activision, it's like how much will that actually work and succeed for Xbox? Well, Matt. One omission. It just reminded me when you said you, you said them fix. You've been saying the same thing year after year after year. We talked about what could be game of the year next year. State of the K three didn't come up in that conversation. We still don't that's, know what the fuck State of the K three is. That, that that's gonna come out. next year, right? No, bro, bro. No, no way. No that chance. Can come no chance. No. Games There's are taking longer to develop. Yeah, that, as well. So the, oh, how long bro. has it been in development, though? A long time. But I promise you guys, I'm telling you right now, especially after the fucking debacle, which the day before was, I promise you, this game's not gonna be good. I'm scared. I'm so <laughs> fucking scared. Yeah. Like the day because, before was wild. You know, we haven't talked about that. I haven't been on uh, no, chat with you guys about that. Yeah, wild, yeah. We haven't mm -hmm. spoken about it either. To be honest with you, we kind of just dodged a bullet. Is what we did. Let it go. Sure, um, sure, sure. Yeah, I um. That State of Decay 3 is going to be what State of Decay 2 was, which is like more State of Decay. And we're mm, all going to go, I... oof, you took this long to do more State of Decay? That's not a good look. Yeah. Like, that sounds really stupid if, like, on no, a surface mean. level, but like, we're expecting a AAA State of Decay now. Yeah. We want that innovation that comes from being a first party studio now. Yeah. But. but if are they gonna, gonna do, honest, gonna do that yeah i think that conversation of what a first party studio is has to change for xbox because they're not 
they're not a first party studio in the same way that first party Sony studios are because they're making games for Game Pass. Like Game Pass is the big seller. True. PlayStation's trying to sell consoles. Xbox is trying to sell a service. And if you want to keep games, you generally have to scale them a little bit smaller because you're not going for those uh, making money off of just the sales, right? You you also want to be putting out content yeah. fast enough. I think right. that's also it's going to be like they've got to balance the quality with the output. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, there's like what takes what takes a hit? Do we do we release a like five or six eight out of tens a year, or do we release three or four ten out of tens? And what what's the best thing? And I think with the fact that Xbox are more inclined to push for Game Pass, I think it's going to be the farmer of just like more games. Yeah, yeah, I I don't disagree with you. I still think it's a flawed philosophy though, right? Mm-hmm. If you said. We're going to release three 10 out of, like, uh, you can't say this, right? But yeah. let's say we're going to release three 10 out of 10s that are $70 games or Game Pass. Then Game Pass just paid for itself. Like, and some. You saved some money. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's not the way things work, is it? But there we go. I'm depressed that the state of the case is going to be bad. I t- I'm sorry, I shouldn't have reminded you. Yeah, I think sorry. that's my, because my, I'm very excited for State of Decay. I love State of Decay too. Man, I you love State of Decay too. Yeah. That's interesting. I died so much. I had so much fun. <laughs> Have you played the first? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've played neither, and everybody talks yeah. very highly of the first. Or I played the second one. Everybody talks yeah. very highly of the first, and I wasn't a huge fan of what I experienced in the second one. Okay. I think what to did, be fair, what, I need to dive in deeper. This one. Sorry. Cool. What didn't you like? What didn't I like? No, no. Oh, crash. crash. What did what you I didn't like about, about the two. game? Yeah. Uh, just the way the co-op functioned. I just okay. felt it was very that's fine. Yeah. As long as that's all that you didn't like, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Because otherwise you just don't like State of the Hay, and that's yeah. absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. But like the gameplay, obviously we expect it to be sharper, we expect it to be better off, things like that, right? But the 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 game is go out, get resources, recruit new people, bring them back. Yeah, that was absolutely like, fine. With. That that is the game. I actually struggled more with that, and and maybe it's because I played it in co-op, and so there's more of that oh, chaos, sucks. and like mm-hmm. you can't it's understand what's Royals going on. Not even, but I did not, feel like I did a, a worse job of explaining what I should be doing, or where I can get resources, and what I need to do to get the next thing yeah. that I need, and and those kinds of things. But the the chaos of co-op could have contributed to that. The for thing sure. I, I could say, the thing I hated about the co-op the most is when you went into somebody else's world, you took one of your characters with you. Mm. And if that character dies in somebody else's world because of something stupid, you lose it in your own world. Right. And what while that is a interesting concept, I, in practice, it's so infuriating. I kind of like that, partly, but I also like my biggest gripe with co-op is more so that like it's not it never really feels like a shared world, right? It's no, not well, it it never feels you you have a and, host and then you're a guest in that world with yeah, your character. That's what that's absolutely it. ruins it for right. me. It's mm-hmm. like it, there's nothing that takes you more out of a game than walking into a building and going oh there's a thing here for you because it's color tagged to you mm-hmm. yeah it's just it's like bro they're resources we need the resources grab the fucking resources and get the fuck out yeah like it's, oh no blue character a blue member over here uh who's yeah, playing blue uh, crash you blue no matt's blue oh matt all right over like yeah no you imagine if Baldur's gate did that oh bro could you bro i'm i'm yeah. that call would be horrible yeah, like but that's, I would. Oh, bro. This, this is what I'm excited. This is why I'm excited for State of Decay Three. If they take all of these elements that uh, that people complained about and be like, "All right, well, let's make like persistent worlds that like servers that people can play on," uh, and then it's just like everything is shared on that server, and whoever runs that server can just go in and like let people in that they want. Similar to the way that Grounded did it, as like you you basically have a shared world, shared resources, uh, and then yeah, it's just whoever is hosting that world can basically say i want to let this this and this person in that would be perfect for me give me state of decay 2 concept with that kind of control level co-op man i would be so happy all right cool Eastbourne. bomb hi guess that game mate <gasps> okay so for those that don't know what guess that game is guess that game is our weekly game show where one of the members of the xbox crew uh will choose a game the rest of the team have to pick it out while that game is using yes or no answered questions. Uh, you will have 90 seconds on the clock to guess the game. Fix. Yeah. What are the current scores? We have got Crash on three points. We have got Matt on one point. We have got Despawn on four points. 
and we have me on three points. Apparently, we're doing weird dances on the video <laughs> versions now. Okay, sure. Um, just just yeah. excited for having points. I have a stopwatch. You have the Wikipedia page open. I have a Wikipedia page. Okay. Okay. And do we, we, I haven't done this in a while. Do we write? Do we write notes? We'll do. Like, no, you can yes. write notes. Like, you you can, can, I yeah. won't bother. We recap it usually, so you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Honest. No, I, I meant we write in our notes what we think the game is. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That we yeah. Yeah. At, that at the end. Just... Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Fine. Yeah. All right. Okay. Who, Who's going order? first? Who's going to go first? I'm going to say that as a returning uh, member, Matt can go first. Oh, lovely. Matt okay. Crush. Matt stuff. crush me. Cool. Uh, Matt crush you, yeah. Ready? Go. Did it launch on the 360? No. Xbox One? Yes. Uh, was it a first-person shooter? No. Was it a third-person shooter? No. First-party game? No. Uh, published by EA? No. Is it a sports game? No. Uh, was it an Activision game? No. Uh, protagonist and Mao? Yes. Is it a puzzle game? No. Hmm. Capcom mm -hmm. game? No. Uh, does the game start with Half-Life? Uh, is there a half and a life in the title? No. <laughs> oh. is, it, is it a uh, first Shut person? Shut up, just carry on. Is it what, sorry? First person perspective. No. Uh, Sega game? No. Capcom? No. You can get better oh, guesses, Is it a guys. management game? No. Nope. Simulation game? EA game. Nope. We said that. Activision? Uh, not Activision shit. Is it an action adventure? Uh, no. Oh, God. What the f uh, what? Question. <laughs> question. Uh, is it a, a bungee game? No. Nope. RPG? No. Nope. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know. Uh, is it, did it, did, it, has it been ported to other Xbox consoles? Yes. Japanese game? No. Time's up. I like, you know what? Because I think that was a bad round and this is a hard one, by the way. Uh, but not intentionally hard. Don't worry. Um, mm. I'll let you all ask one question each. So pick carefully. I'm so lost. I'm so lost, dude. Did we ask if it's a management game? You did. I did. And it was a no. It was a no. Mal protagonist a in a puzzle. Game? Like a strategy game? Nope. Matt Fix, you got any uh, more questions? Jesus Christ. I mean, I haven't got a clue. Okay. Oh, I, I've I've got one I'm gonna guess and I don't care. I I have a guess too. Okay. I don't, I don't know Fix, if it's right. Do you want to ask a question before you make a random guess? Um is it a rhythm based game? It does so it has music in it, so yes. It has. Yes. Yeah. It's not Hi Fi Rush, so. No. It has music in it. I don't it. know where we are. Oh, is it? No, that game came out. I, what, I'm going to so... throw out my guess. I know it's well, wrong. Then. Uh, it was Viva Pinata. No. Oh, that's the 360 launch. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, right, no. Well, it's, not Viva, anyway. it's not Viva Pinata. Fresh? Rock band? <laughs> nope. Get, that right, get so also Mal came out So wait, run me down the list real quick of what we got. So you had male protagonist, the music game, a music based like esque game. It's not first party. Uh, it's not Capcom. It's not strategy. It's not Xbox One things. launch. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Xbox One, yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts. No. Yeah. And they got some weird spin they got some weird spin off games though. Music they did basically. have a music they game, did. I think. Yeah, last see, weekend. there you go. Yeah, Not like, then D Spawn, give me. us this bullshit. What is it? <laughs> this bullshit was a game that you love. Oh, this it was Artful oh. Escape. It was the Artful Escape. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Music, of course. <laughs> I almost said platformer as well. Fuck. Yeah, if you if you just said platformer, you would have got it, I think. Jesus Christ. You know, I, I, take, I take some of the responsibility on that one, guys. I take some of the responsibility on that one. That's on me. Yeah. I should have been a point for you. <laughs> I know. I should have been the only one getting a point. I should have been <laughs> on the way back at the leaderboard. I'm just going to say some of the most obscure questions. Like, oh, <laughs> does Matt love this game? Like, does Chris that's love this game? That's actually that's a mean, good question. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm going to have to start doing that. It's just... 
stupid fucking I hate you so much. It also stuff. might not be bad to be like, is it above an eighty on Metacritic? Is it above that's, a... that's not a bad chat either. Yeah. It might be yeah. quite good. Did IGN give it above a seven? That's hard. I don't know. Well. You've got to get that I mean, yeah, you want to go seven. Yeah. You want to go like nine. You want to go like above a nine. Whatever. Yeah, I get you. I get you. All right, well, boys, we're going to end it on that one. Let's plug our plug and get ourselves out of it. Crash, what you got to plug? Uh, the, uh, my Xbox and me on podcast services to leave your review. I do think we actually have a review. <gasps> oh. Um, oh, 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 shit. Oh, um, oh, oh. Yeah, so oh. this review was left from premier silver it was left december 9th so it was left like almost two weeks ago okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ma- Ma- um, bad, bad, bad. we called five you stars saying, we called you out saying you didn't do it and you did so i'm sorry that's on crash all right i can't five check. stars nice uh, you might take back what you just said fix uh five stars uh title of the review is mad toxic host oh. sounds like an ign comment section <laughs> <laughs> whoa five stars though yeah five like stars it. he he t- we asked for five stars and say whatever you want. He did that, so maybe they like an IGN comment section. You gotta respect host, it. Host sounds like an IGN host comment section or host. Oh, host, uh, host, host, host. No, it's me. It's me. It's me. Huh. Sounds like an IGN. Com- How can I take that on board and and try and change? Um, I'm gonna say I have always thought that Fix is the embodiment of a comment section. Yeah. 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 Um. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. If you do still with this, and I'd love to know. Um, I'm not. Fuck you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't. <laughs> no, you can't. No, I know, no. You're, you right, can't you're ask, right. You can't ask for critiques. Mm-hmm. And the fact that the, the whole point of the reviews is be honest. We want five he stars. Five. We want five stars, but be honest. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you did that. So no. Dems the rules. Um, those Dems are the rules. criticism is helpful, though. Uh, yeah. Mad toxic host set, like, doesn't, unhelpful. Doesn't really. I just I don't think I agree. Um, he could be talking about any one of us. Yeah, that's no, true. It's me, it's me. Wait, I don't know. There was that one episode that I hosted a few weeks back. Oh, was it that one? That would be hilarious. If it was, the if I was wasn't on, it's the one, only yeah, one he's one, listened to as well. The one, the yeah. one I wasn't on is the mm-hmm. one. I mean, yeah, I just I disagree. Even I mean, even if that is the case, it, I disagree. It I could even just be that he's saying, "Hey, these guys are telling me to go out into the street and kick random people in the nuts, steal oh, their phone." That's, and that's, that's toxic. Actually, and to be fair, it is what possible. we tell you to do. It is mad toxic. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to go out there. You got to steal people's phones, and you got to review mm. us on iTunes. So, yeah, yeah. we're actually, what it is. actually beating up granddads at this point on the podcast. Yeah. You know, yeah. just so you know, we're be- we're beating up granddads now. Yeah, new um, year, new targets. So yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, new it's, resolution. Twenty twenty four. It's on like Donkey Kong, bitch. Let me yeah. tell you. Um, yeah, like, come on, Gramps. You're getting these hands. Yeah, I, I'll I'll think about it and try to change in some sort of way. I guess I don't. I wish there was more to go on. If you do still listen to the podcast, and there are people that have been critical and still listened, I'd love more information. Mm-hmm. So please feel free, email in, and I'm telling I am telling you personally, no one's gonna be mean to you, no one's gonna say anything, whatever. Like come into the Discord and have your grievances. I would love to know how to grow the podcast and hear people's true opinions. So mm-hmm. again, if someone was like someone's like, yo, this guy can barely read, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> he's right. <laughs> this guy slurs a lot of words. He's right. I got Invisalign now. It's hard. I'm not going to lie to you. So, yeah, like, I'm I'm totally open to criticism. So, feel free to keep it coming. Um, yeah, man, I respect it. Thanks for the five stars. Thank you for the five stars. That's the most important part. Uh, Chris, what else should we go to plug, though? Um, the iTunes reviews, leave an iTunes mm-hmm. review. Yeah. Wow, I respect it. I respect it. Uh, Matt? Here's what I want you to do this week. Go to the YouTube video version of this podcast, leave a comment, and let me know where the the weirdest place or best place that you played Xbox Cloud Gaming this year. I feel like a lot of people would have jumped into it the first time this year. It's on MetaQuest now. I want to know some funky places people have played. Not funky. Maybe funky. Places people have played Cloud Gaming on Xbox this year. And uh, maybe I'll read the best one out next week or, or you know, I'll just reply to everybody because I'm interested. <laughs> next week, like he's going to be here next week. Funny joke, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> this one, we got to plug. Uh, I'm going to plug the Discord where we want you to send us your Game of the Year videos. Uh, so, yeah, so there's a new channel in the Discord right now. So go check that out. Uh, basically, we're just looking for like a minute long video. Just telling us That's what your long. Game of the Year is. That's too long. Is That's too I long. Mean, That's too I'll, long. I'll edit it down. Don't worry. Seconds. 30 30 seconds. seconds. Okay. There you go. 
30 yes. seconds. You heard it first. We've done this before. Trust me. 30 okay. seconds. 30 seconds you got. That's it. Do your thing. Doesn't have to be 30 seconds. Up to 30 seconds. A minute is way too long. Trust Fair me. Fair enough. Well, there you go. People, people don't. I mean, it's just going to be a supercut of people saying Baldur's Gate 3, isn't it? So. I doubt it. I doubt it on the... On the yeah. Just come out too late. Fixer. That's that's fixer the the moustache. Yeah, I see those two videos. It's just me ten times. <laughs> <laughs> fixer with a monocle. <laughs> fixer with a monocle and a moustache. D yeah. Spawn said um, video. I want to say audio and video. Yeah, yeah. We just want... We want you guys to be a part of the show at the mm -hmm. end of the year we always do it we want to hear from you so you can record the voice note if you're not comfortable being on video or if mm. you are comfortable being on video um video yourself everyone's you know everyone's taking selfie nowadays so um you've got a phone feel free it, it, again it doesn't it doesn't have to you've all got phones because you've reviewed the podcast if not punch a grenade in the throat and uh, take his phone then review <laughs> us and then record your video upload it to the discord and then give it back to him okay mm -hmm. after you take him to hospital yeah yeah there's something um, so visceral uh, about a throat punch. It's like yeah, it's right? so hardcore. Oh. <laughs> oh, right in the um, right in the thorax. Go on. Yeah, and uh, I'll plug uh, the my Xbox and me Twitch, twitch.tv slash my Xbox and me. The plan is to do free streams a week, um, starting in the new year. Um, we do want to do a full playthrough of Baldur's Gate where it will be a case of we start our characters all together, we start doing the stream, and then whoever can make it that time we're playing. Uh, will turn up and be in the story and the ones who won't, won't. And it will be oh. our jobs to catch them up um, of what they've missed and things like that. So I think it's the only way we'll all probably be it, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, and it can call, sure. it, it can make for some fun, fun content as well, I think. Because it can be a case of like, yo, we're going over here because this woman just spoke to us fucking squirrel and we kicked it. And Crash is like, did we? And I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, we did. <laughs> that squirrel got fucking booted in the face. Like, <laughs> like stuff like that. So the game is so, it's crazy how many different outcomes there are in certain aspects of things. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to play with you boys. I really yeah. am. You say there's really, so many really different really aspects. Am. Like, I have kicked that squirrel every single playthrough. That yeah, never that changes. I'm going to get to that squirrel first and I'm going to save the squirrel. You didn't even think about kicking that squirrel. You guys, yeah. are, you guys are bullies. I mean, I, I'm a squirrel. I was a barbarian. I, didn't I had either. to kick the squirrel. It's the exactly. same as me. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm yep. with Matt. I didn't even think about it. Harmy the squirrel did not come to my mind. <laughs> no. No, but killing my main character did. Thanks for that. To mate. be fair, I made sure. Well, why do you say that? Can we stop saying that, Fix? No. Your character was alive last time I played, no? He, he was alive. Who took he his left. clothes? He Who took his clothes? You! <laughs> no! You're the one who took his clothes. <laughs> it, was, it was me. I, I'm a loot goblin. I'm sorry. I'm a loot goblin. Um, next week, I think we're doing Christmas jumpers as well. So if you're not <gasps> yes. listening to it while wearing yours, um, Matt's like, I don't have a Christmas jumper. We'll take a hat from I'll you. Figure it out. I'll we'll figure take it a out. hat. We'll take we'll a hat. Christmas hat. Um, yeah. Until next time, we'll love you. Leave you. See you all later. Boys. <laughs>